Hey everyone, John Lee here, aka The Property Shark. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you exactly how you can grow your Instagram account organically in 2020 and get to 1,000 subscribers fast. Now, I wanna emphasize on organically, meaning no bots, no engagement groups, none of that stuff, just pure organic engagement. And that's really important because personally, I've been able to grow my account to 10K plus followers. I've had my account for a while, uh, but it, but I finally started to figure things out and now I'm close to third, close to 14K, uh, 13K around, I think. So um, again, I'm really excited to share these strategies with you. Uh, I really wanna talk about one thing though. Nowadays, it's really easy to buy your way into Instagram success. I mean, you can buy followers, you can buy likes, you can buy comments, you can buy uh, automation softwares, you can buy anything, buy engagement groups, whatever. Personally, I want to do things the organic way, um, especially if you have a business or you have a service that you're offering people, it's very important that you do things organically because if you spend money to grow your Instagram account, the biggest pitfall that people get to is when that money runs dry and you stop spending money on growing your account, it's pretty darn obvious to people and they start raising questions as to how reputable your page is or your content uh, is because guess what, the engagement goes this way. Once the funds go this way, the engagement goes this way, uh, the, the growth goes this way and people can really, really easily pick up on that uh, because they're gonna cr see crazy drop-offs uh, of followers, engagements, comments, and likes. Um, and people can know from that that all your past success is all fake and it's all built up. Um, and as a business owner, you really want to engage and connect with your potential customers. Uh, you really don't want any ghost followers or fake followers who, you know, like one photo and disappear or never comment on your other content. You want people that genuinely care about what you have to say, have an interest in what you're sharing, uh, so you have an opportunity to engage and talk with them. Um, so, yeah, that's the number one thing I would say. And, you know, if you agree with what I'm saying, then you definitely want to stay behind for the top five hacks to grow your Instagram organically to 13K followers. So keep watching till the very end. Um, if you guys find tremendous value in this video and you want a more in-depth breakdown, comment yes, comment yes on this video down below. And if I get enough interest, I'm going to make a detailed step-by-step -step breakdown of each of the growth hacks that I'm gonna outline for you to crush it on Instagram in 2020. So make sure to comment yes, but stay tuned to the very end. Um, the number one thing that a lot of people don't really talk about because I guess it, it kind of doesn't really relate to Instagram that much and that is SEO. So you want to make sure that you change your name to reflect what you do. That's the most important thing. So your Instagram handle should indirectly and directly reflect what you do and what you're about. So you have your Instagram handle and if that doesn't work, then you also have a section to put your name down. So in the section that you put your name down, I would you know write for example, I am a, a, a lo local realtor, so I would put the property shark is my Instagram handle. However, um, if I couldn't find a good Instagram handle to go with, I would then choose my username, you know, as something else. And then for the name, I would put uh, the property shark. I would put a real estate agent, something that focuses on exactly what you do and what you're about, what your expertise in, so people know exactly what they're gonna get out of your particular Instagram page. Now, the second tip that I have in terms of SEO optimization is the, the captions. So pictures are important for you to grab people's attention when they're scrolling, but what's even more important is the captions. Um, 
Based off the right captions, the algorithm has it in a way where you would be able to attract more views uh, to look at your content, especially if they search it up. Um, and you really want to get into the DMs, dive into having conversations, uh, engage with people that comment on your posts. That's really important as well. Um, and I like to do long form captions. I like to do short form captions depending on the type of content that I'm putting out. Uh, for example, if I put out uh, a nice photo of a house, um, I might say, you know, tag your best friend. Or um, if I'm posting something more personal, then I would want to have a longer caption to describe it. It really has to complement your content that you're posting. Um, and I would really recommend that you spend some time to think about what you're posting, why you're posting, how this can help people solve their problem, how this can help entertain people. Because at the end of the day, uh, the whole point of you posting on Instagram is to provide value to other people. And that's the only way that they're going to follow you is if they like the content that you're posting up, they think that they're going to get more out of you in the future. And that's why they want to follow your page. So that's really important. Um, I would think of Instagram as a micro blog. You know, I, I like to, depending on the type of content, um, Instagram stories are great for the kind of like a, a micro vlog on the day to day behind the scenes of what you do. Um, Instagram post is great for a micro blog where you can dive more in depth about certain topics or what you're going through. Um, and also uh, IGTV is great uh, for a micro, you know, video series to, to dive more in depth about certain topics that you want to cover. Uh, and the whole point of that is to be able to spark conversations uh, with your potential followers, with your followers, with people engaging with your content, because from those conversations, you will be able to better understand what they're about, why they're coming to you, um, and you can reverse engineer that to provide more value to other people who might want that information as well and to build meaningful connections and relationships with people, which is very important. Uh, so if you have a business, you know, people engaging with you definitely provides an opportunity for you to ask the right questions for you to qualify them, pre-qualify, and who knows, they could be your potential clients or uh, they might know someone who could use the services that you offer. Um, the third piece of advice that I could give you is the hashtags. Now, hashtags are not dead. I mean, I, I hear a lot of people say, oh, the ha hashtags are over sa overly saturated. Hashtags don't work anymore. Uh, yes, yes and no. I mean, to a certain point, if you use the big hashtags with a million plus post, the second you post your content with the hashtag, you're not going to be able to stay on that explore page. Maybe you will for a couple of seconds and then you're going to disappear simply because there's too many people and too much content that use that hashtag uh, to try to get grab people's attention. So it's actually very ineffective. Um, what I would recommend is, you know, you want to really find a way to increase your reach um, and you want to find a way to be able to provide value to people. Um, and by doing that, I would really recommend you niching down and going to the smaller to medium size hashtags. And I know this is going to take a lot of work and, you know, you might be telling me, John, like, I don't have time for that. Uh, but what I usually do is I would find, I would identify my client avatar. So, or my potential follower, follower avatar. So for example, if I am looking to sell real estate, um, real estate is a very broad topic. Uh, my potential followers could be local business owners. Uh, they could be creative people. Uh, they could be uh, parents, uh, people with families. And based off these client avatars, um, what their interests are, what their passions are, what their problems are, I would come up with a list of hashtags that would match certain criteria. Um, 
and I would really focus on the small to medium sized hashtags. So the small hashtags are less than 50,000 posts, uh, per, give or take around there. Um, actually, those are the micro, the micro small hashtags are less than 50,000. Um, less than 100,000, those are small hashtags, and less than 500 um, are the medium sized hashtags. Anything about 500K, I would not recommend touching. Again, you're not gonna be able to to stay on that explorer page and it kind of defeats the purpose of using that hashtag because you only have 30 hashtags that you can use per post so you really want to pick and choose the best ones where you can actually stick on that explorer page and be discovered by other people um, and what i would do is i would mix i would have out of the 30 hashtags i might have five micro small hashtags i would have uh 10 to 15 small hashtags and another 10 to 15 uh, medium-sized hashtags and i would swap it up and I would have four groups of hashtags. So then for every post, I would just have it saved up uh, on my notes, on my phone. Um, and that way, uh, if I'm posting you know, a photo today, I'll use group A, posting a content tomorrow, group B, group C, group D. Uh, the point is you wanna make sure that you're rotating through the hashtags. Uh, and the reason for that is because Instagram algorithm will flag you as spam if you're constantly using the same hashtags. They might even go the extent um, to actually prevent you from posting that post because of that. I've had that happen before, you know, when I was trying to figure things out. Um, but as long as you rotate through the hashtags, then Instagram algorithm won't pick it up as spam. They won't restrict that post that, and they will allow you to post on your account. Um, and also I've heard a lot of things about being shadow banned. I don't know if this is true, but apparently if you do use the same hashtags over and over again, Instagram will shadow ban your account, meaning they will restrict and limit your reach, uh, greatly. Um, and you don't want that to happen because that will definitely stunt your growth. Uh, so again, if you want a more in-depth breakdown of all of my tips, be sure to comment yes. If I have enough interest, I'm gonna go the extra mile. I'll create an in-depth PDF guide to break down what these micro hashtags are, um, give you some examples, and to make sure you can crush it uh, in 2020 and have a great year of Instagram growth. Uh, now the last and final tip is you know community engagement and Gary v really preaches this uh, he calls it the 1.8 cent strategy um, and it's really about you connecting with your audience um, engaging with your community um, you want to for relevant hashtags you want to maybe go into the explore page of those and kind of see what other people are posting comment on those uh, for people that are engaging your comment you want to give them you know, thanks for commenting, give them a heart, uh, give them a like, and, and vice versa. And it's really important that you spend one to two hours a day doing it. Um, usually I like to save it to the last part of my day uh, because I'm kind of winding down. I might have some music or I might be watching Netflix and I'll just be casually scrolling through um, and, you know, checking out, uh, you know, people that have liked my page, maybe give them a follow back, uh, give a comment on some of their photos. Uh, and, you know, the, the, the whole point of this is you, you want to grow organically and you have to reinvest your time and energy back into your community, back into your platform, because the algorithm, again, Instagram algorithm is built where they want to keep you on that platform. So the longer and the the longer the more time you spend on instagram guess what they're gonna be rewarding you back by putting your content in front of more people that might be interested in it um and also allow you to engage more uh, with people that you know love what you're doing and want to talk about what you're doing so it goes hand in hand you know you want to make sure that you give back to the community that you know helped you grow and build to this point as well um and guys and gals you've reached the end of the video and those are my top five hacks for organic Instagram growth for 2020. Again, if you want an in-depth breakdown of all the five hacks, make sure you comment yes down below. And you know, I really hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, definitely stay safe. You know, wash your hands. 
practice social distancing. Let's help flatten the curve um, and be sure to stay tuned for more awesome content. Follow me. I'm going to drop a video every Wednesday. Um, like this if you found value in this video and also comment if you have any further questions. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.